in a milk village in Burgundy. I took the train to meet my mother, and I immediately had to go to work. Mon premier travail, my first work, was binding the Kama Sutra. I learned many, many things. Uh, at 15, I became an artist model. Mais je devais me déshabiller, but I had to pose nude. I was extremely prim, and this was not exactly what I thought was right, but I loved artists. I wanted to be the muse. I wanted to be the inspiration of the artist. I thought of myself as an artist, and in fact, j'étais peint. And I had a great, fabulous exhibition at Le Pantone, a department store, but nevertheless, a fabulous exhibition. Uh, when I was 21 years old, I met a man named Emmanuel Ravitsky, who was born in Philadelphia. And it was un coup de foudre. It was love at first sight. He had changed his name to Man Ray, and he was now the toast of Montparnasse. And he wanted me to be his muse and his model. I moved in with him immediately, immediately. Rue de la Compagnie Première, which is right behind, as you know, the Boulevard, and all the artists had studios there. It was fabulous, it was extraordinary. But I had already been the artist muse, and I had already been the model for paintings by Pascal, Kizrin, Modigliani, as you could say, Chagall, and I knew Chagall, et tout les de Paris. I know all the school of Paris. Le problème était qu'ils étaient tous étés juifs. Alors, the school of Paris is actually Jewish, almost 100%. Well, I found this out, and moi, je ne suis pas juive. Et pire des juifs, c'était les juives. Les riches juives, the rich Jewish women, they really drove me crazy. Gertrude Stein didn't want to accept me, uh, Catherine Dreyer and uh, Peggy Guggenheim are carrying on, but of course Marcel, Marcel, as you know, called me the man Ray. He sent her and said, I did you who was not interested in me at all. He was running after these ladies because after all, he was a general. But man was not at all a gigolo. He was a real artist, and he uh, he, he was a painter, uh, like Marcel. I personally think he was a better painter, but you know, he was not so sure about his painting. And that's why he did that fabulous photograph of Amor called the Violon Dango. You just see me from the back, and I'm the shape of a, of a violin, and then he's got you know, the violin uh, 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 pattern, uh, which he drew on my back. Uh, and uh, I'm posed like one of Angra's band Turk, uh, Turkish bath harems, because it seemed that Angra, who was Man Ray's uh, idol, um, when people came to see his paintings, he said, no, I'm playing my violin. So there I was, moi, Kiki, j'étais le violon d'Angra. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? What does that mean? Well, a violon d'Angra in French, it means it's a hobby. I was a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I took myself out far more seriously, although I did have a very good time. And it is said that I drank and I took drugs and I ran around nude and I did all kinds of things. I stayed up all night, all true. Two stuff before I ate, and so I wrote my memoirs in 1929. Uh, they were published in English, but that translation has disappeared. However, my greatest fan, Papa Hemingway, wrote the preface. And in this preface, he described everything that I was, fabulous, exciting, charming, but he liked somebody else even better. And that was my greatest enemy, La Deesh Creole. In 1925, this uh, <clears throat> lady, uh, Josephine Baquer, who was like me, a barrister, except now we know, so fair, in a des juifs, said the guy traveling salesman, juif, ça c'est nouveau, mais c'est vrai. So already she's moitié négresse et moitié juive. Alors qu'est-ce que moi je pouvais faire contre ça? What can I do? I mean, I, I couldn't, I pretended to dance, but I mean, if you showed, so you, if you had seen her shake her bananas, uh, I mean, <laughs> you, I, if you had seen her do the Charleston wearing nothing but a girdle of feathers, well, I was nothing. Except man, he photographed me and not her, and he photographed me uh, in this uh, photograph, very well known, I'm sure you know it, called Noir et Blanche, and it's a Brancusi sculpture of a negresse with my head next to hers. So you see, I am the real white person and the 
Negresse, c'est l'autre. She is not photographed by none of the music because he had taste. <laughs> On the other hand, il faut dire, c'est Josephine Barquier. Elle se couchait avec n'importe qui, femme, homme, chien, qui sait, singe. And she actually had uh, simultaneously uh, affairs with Le Corbusier, mm -hmm. Simonon, and, trois mois, c'est un secret, c'est un secret, but I'm going to tell you, Mondrian. Mondrian was insanely in love with cette négresse, la déesse créole. Pendant que moi, la reine de mon, de mon palace, je, je, je suis morte sans un, un rang, sans rien. Et elle, elle est morte avec la foi de guerre, avec 20 000 gens en attendant son funérailles qui ont fait à l'église de la Madeleine, parce qu'au dernier moment, elle se fait catholique. Alors moi, j'avais des amis quand même, mais elle, elle a continué, 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 pendant la guerre, même en résistance. Moi, pendant la résistance, ne, ne, ne me demandait rien. Euh, mais... Euh, Josephine, finally, her best friend was a Unibrite princess, a real princess, Princess Grace. So, Man Ray is buried in the same cemetery as I am. We are in the same place, finally. La cimetière de Montparnasse. But there is a problem. He is buried with his last wife, cette juive, uh, Juliette, uh, who was half his age, but anyway, they are together in a tomb, and I am alone. But we are together, at least, in the cimetière de Montparnasse. Au moins, je peux rester, comme c'est dit, sur ma tombe, la reine de Montparnasse.